First Steps and Derbyshire Healthcare NHS Foundation Trust have been working together since 2011 through our intensive community support programme offering targeted treatment to individuals with anorexia nervosa or bulimia. Our joint service provides home and community interventions from a variety of options agreed by the care coordinator as part of the care programme approach and may include confidence building, food preparation, eating at home or in public, volunteering and getting back into work. 44 years ago, when I was 15, I started to diet because I felt everything in my life was racing out of control. A year later, I lost both parents and discovered my mother's passing was due to a history of bulimia. My world was turned upside down by trauma, so I resorted to the one thing that felt safe, my anorexia. Struggling with body image and being bullied in primary school, I struggled with self-esteem, so I began to control food by restricting and binging and purging. I was feeling ill and tired, not having the energy to socialise and isolating myself further, and now I'd lost a healthy relationship with food. Feeling out of control, I finally acknowledged I had a problem. I went to the doctors who referred me to CAMS and advised me to make my own referral to First Steps. CAMS wasn't really somewhere I saw myself, but First Steps was already helping me with my confidence and gave me lots of coping mechanisms that I had control over, whether I used them or not. Over the next 20 years, I became very ill, but somehow I got a job in the banking industry, often off work sick, and eventually got retired on ill health. The shock of losing my new professional network led to increased anxiety and following three suicide attempts, I was sectioned. Overwhelming anxiety at such supported mealtimes is the obstacle. Our multidisciplinary team provides regular encouragement to support service users to begin to develop a new relationship with food, teaching sufferers and families to be in control of their illness. The NHS saved my life on numerous occasions. And over the next few years, I was in and out of hospital until I met Martin, also an eating disorder sufferer. And for a couple of years, we helped each other stay out of hospital until he committed suicide, leaving me once again alone with my anorexia. First Steps gave me lots of independence, giving me confidence, and has helped me understand that eating disorder recovery isn't a linear process or any specific healthy norm. My supported self-care journey helped me to apply my learning and deal with my disordered eating. And now as a First Steps peer mentor, I use my lived experience to support new young people on their journey to recovery. Our ambition is for every young person that we support is to equip them with the right strategy to recover from their eating disorder and thrive. For some older adults with enduring anorexia, we continue to work with them, building confidence for them to regain control over their lives. The support and care provided to me from Derbyshire Community Eating Disorders and First Steps ensures that I survive. But my eating disorder still continues to have power over me, so the contact I receive from my NHS and First Steps team enables me to cope with my daily struggles. My intensive community support ensures that I have enough quality periods of happiness, helps me to maintain my weight, reducing my risks of hospitalisation and provides me with support at home and in my community.